the increases in employment are most likely to be in the office sector in terms of um, outsourcing. So we've got office occupiers most, more likely to outsource over the next five years. HQs in London, and I think that just reflects the fact that a lot of the large companies have an HQ in London and they're the ones that are more likely to expand. And we're seeing the bigger companies get bigger. Um, it seems like there might be a bit of a squeeze on the medium-sized companies and potentially those in, in regional markets. Um, so there's a sort of an interesting polarization potentially going on between the very large companies getting even bigger, smaller companies playing in their niche market aren't affected necessarily to the same extent, and middle-sized companies perhaps wondering whether they should grow or shrink. If we then look at where outsourcing has happened, I think we need to, to think about offshoring, nearshoring, and inshoring to understand what we're seeing here. Um, clearly, Asia Pacific is still very dominant. You see India second, Southeast Asia fourth, and China fifth. So if you took those as one region, you can see that they dominate. But interestingly, you've got an awful lot going on in Eastern Europe, which is at the top of that, along with non-EU non state European. Um, so again, we're seeing quite a lot of offshore of nearshoring going to Europe rather than offshoring going further away. Um, whether we see the, the rise of Africa as a, as a location in terms of cheap labor remains to be seen. Clearly, there's an awful lot of political instability, financial instability in Africa, but there's an awful lot of investment going into it, particularly around commodities. And as we all know, that the Chinese have been second to none in terms of developing their operations in Africa. And that is a huge potential for the future and something perhaps we all ignore at our peril. So there's an awful lot to think about when companies say they're going to grow. Because it's not a question, it's a question of where they're going to grow and how they're going to grow. And of course, our challenge is going to be to help do it at the lowest possible cost. 